All right, my loves, we are going to read about panda bears. I don't really know that much about pandas, so that's why I chose this particular book to read next. <clears throat> so let's learn together. Maybe you already know a lot about panda bears. If that's the case, I wish somebody would have told me something. <laughs> you could be the teacher. We always talk about that. The more you know, then you become the teacher. All right, so let's read about pandas. Already I'm in love. Look at how cute. So, so sweet. Mm. Well, this reminds me of some of my friends on the playground. They look so adventurous. Always curious, wanting to try new things. Here we go. Giant panda. Look, up in the tree. Is it a cat? Is it a raccoon? No, it's a giant panda. Giant pandas can climb to the tops of the tallest of trees. They live in the highest mountains and they munch on bamboo for hours and hours each day. Hmm. We'll learn a little bit more about what each of those things is. Pandas are great tree climbers. Sometimes they even sleep up in the treetops. Can you imagine how do they not fall out of the tree? It's fascinating for all of those other animals too that sleep up in treetops. Pandas have lived high in the mountains of China, which is a country, a really large country in Asia, for the millions and millions of years. It is cold and rainy, but there are plenty of trees and a panda's favorite plant, which is bamboo. Pandas used to live in more places, but today, there is less open land with bamboo. Now pandas live in six forest habitats in China. So what type of habitats do panda bears live in? Forests, and they're in China. So that's their natural native habitat, forest in the country of China. Panda bodies. Pandas are black and white, and this may help hide panda babies from predators or enemies in the snowy and rocky forest. Their oily woolly coat keeps them warm in the cold, wet forests where they live. And hairs on the bottom of their feet keep, keep them warm on the snowy ground. Their black eye spots may help them look fierce. Just like cats, pandas can see very well at night when they are most active. So that's really interesting. I never thought about panda bears being more nocturnal, um, but it seems that they are. They're definitely more active at night and they have great eyesight. Hmm. Pandas have large teeth and strong jaw muscles that are perfect for crushing tough stalks of bamboo. So they have all the tools necessary to survive in their natural habitat. Pandas spend their day sleeping a little and eating a lot. Bamboo for breakfast, bamboo for lunch, bamboo for dinner, and bamboo to munch. What do pandas eat? You guessed it, bamboo, of course. It makes up almost all of a panda's diet. So they primarily eat one thing. Now, if you could only choose one food to eat, what would it be? Oh my gosh, that's such a tough decision. What would you want to eat if you could only choose one food? For me, it might be, I don't know, I really love pizza. It might have to be pizza for me. Think about that. Maybe if you guys are watching this, send me a dojo or maybe next time we Zoom, tell me what your one food would be. Pandas have to eat 20 to 40 pounds of bamboo each day just to stay alive. It takes 10 to 16 hours a day to find and eat all that bamboo. Hmm, I wonder if bamboo is a quick growing plant because if pandas are eating that much of it, how does bamboo survive? Hmm. Pandas mostly live alone. Do you guys remember what that word is for animals and insects that live alone? Insects are animals. But do you remember, we talked about it specifically related to bees. An insect or animal or a mammal that lives alone is solitary. 
If you're solitary, you like to be on your own, solo, like go solo, be alone. If you're social, it means you like to be with others and you live in, and enjoy being around others. So pandas are mostly solitary, but sometimes they hang out in small groups. Pandas use 11 different calls to communicate with each other. Hmm, as a speech pathologist, I love that. They also leave their scent on rocks and trees for other pandas to find. So leaving their scent somehow means leaving their smell behind. So then if another panda came along, they would know where that panda had been or that another panda had been there. My dog does that. Dogs leave scents along the way. Lots of animals do that. Aww. <laughs> Around August or September, a mother panda will find a den and give birth. Her newborn cub is about the same size and weight as an ice cream sandwich. Wow, that's not very big at all. It would fit in the palm of your hand, or at least my hand. Panda cubs are pink, they're hairless, which means they don't have any hair, and blind at birth. And if you're blind, it means you cannot see. They spend the day squeaking, crying, and drinking their mama's milk. Now remember, panda bears are mammals. There they are. Oh, look, at it looks like that little guy's waving. Hi. So cute. Cubs stay with their mothers until they are about two or three years old. In a few weeks, the mother can leave her cub to find bamboo. The baby cries less and is able to keep itself warm. When a cub is about eight weeks old, so two months old, it will finally opens its eyes, open its eyes. So for two months, eight weeks, the baby remains blind, unable to see. And then eventually after that time, it opens its eyes. But the cub still cannot walk until it is three months old or 12 weeks old. So when the cub is six months old, it can, it can eat bamboo, climb trees and walk around just like its mama. So at six months old, even though it's not the same size as its mama, it can do most of the same things at six months old. Now human babies at six months old are really not doing much of anything. They're starting to get up, rock back and forth. Sit, they're starting to sit up at six months old, but they're definitely not going out and finding their own food um, and walking around and climbing trees, that's for sure. Uh, today, there are only about 1,600 pandas left in the wild, which means they are, do you remember the word that we use for when, when there aren't a lot of a specific species of animal left and we get really worried that they might become extinct? The word is endangered. Think about it this way, they're in danger of not existing anymore, endangered. Many of the forests where pandas live have been cleared to make a room for farms. And we talked about how humans how we as humans guys impact the animals on our planet. So by tearing down or cutting down their forests, humans are taking away their natural habitat. And when we do that, they don't have as much room to live and it also affects their food source. They don't have as much food that they need to survive. So what we do as humans has a really significant impact on the animals in our world. Mm -hmm. um, pandas have nowhere to go and no food to eat. The Wulong Panda Reserve in China is just one way people are trying to help the 150 pandas that live there. They cannot be harmed. So there is something called a reserve and that's protected area where um, you don't have to worry about their food. Pandas are safe there. There's no hunting there for anyone that would hunt a panda. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Um, but it also means that no one will be coming to um, cut down the forest there. So it's a reserve, an animal reserve. So it's a really awesome thing for pandas. They're safe there. And then they'll be able to have their babies and their population will continue to grow. In May 2008, a giant earthquake struck China. The center of the earthquake was right near the Wulong Reserve. Rocks the size of cars rained down from the steep mountains surrounding the panda's home. So 2008 was just 12 years ago. But workers rebuilt Wulong and it reopened in 2012 as a safe home for pandas. 
So there they are. There's a picture of them rescuing the pandas. Now here are some panda amazing facts. Did you know pandas will roll around and tumble to get somewhere faster? So rather than walking, they'll actually do like somersaults and rolls to get where they want to go. <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. Ancient Chinese rulers kept pandas as their pets. That's one big pet. Pandas are very shy and they will stay away from places where people live. Pandas are pink when they are born. The color comes from their mom saliva when she licks them and saliva is our spit. Mm. Pandas can eat more than 22,000 pounds of bamboo each year. It's crazy. Pandas can't run very fast, but they are really good swimmers and great tree climbers. So not fast runners, which is maybe why they roll and somersault along the way, but great swimmers and great climbers. It takes four years to tell if a panda cub is a boy or a girl. Now that's very interesting. When humans are born, we know right away if it's a boy or a girl. But in the case of pandas, you have to wait four years to find out. Hmm. So those are some really cool facts about panda bears. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I totally did. I learned a lot about panda bears and they seem like really awesome, cool creatures. Maybe you'll learn more on doing some of your own research because I know there's a lot of books about panda bears that go into more details. So maybe look up more on your own. See you guys.